Jeff Bezos travels in style. He's so rich that he owns two Gulfstream G650 ER jets worth approximately $75 million each. These state-of-the-art jets are classy and filled with high-end features. The Amazon founder uses his expensive private planes for both business and pleasure. The private jets regularly fly back and forth between Amazon headquarters in Seattle and satellite campuses in far-off locations like Luxembourg in India. His luxurious planes have also been spotted in vacation hotspots like Los Cabos, Mexico. Bezos has a net worth of about $190 billion, so it's no wonder that he's upgraded his private jet fleet over the years. Here's a close look at Bezos' incredible fleet of private jets. You wouldn't expect the CEO of one of the largest corporations on Earth to fly commercial, would you? When Jeff Bezos isn't in the Amazon boardroom, the soon-to-be executive chairman is globetrotting around the world. His Gulfstream jets are the pinnacle of aviation, and private planes don't get any more luxurious. Bezos bought his first Gulfstream G650ER in 2015, and then he bought another one in 2019. The base price of a Gulfstream G650ER is about $70 million, in case you were thinking of buying one. But Bezos' private planes are decked out with so many high-end features that the cost of each jet is about $75 million. That's chump change to Bezos, like most things are. And he could easily afford to buy hundreds of private jets if he wanted to. He's just that rich. Bezos owns his own Gulfstream jets through his holding company, Poplar Glen LLC, and stores them in a secure hangar at Boeing Field just south of Seattle. The hangar was so expensive it cost nearly as much as an entry-level private jet. He bought the hangar for $5.5 million, and you might be surprised to learn that he purchased it from Amazon competitor Costco Wholesale. When the average person goes on a Costco run, they stock up on toilet paper and rotisserie chicken, but Bezos stocks up on airplane hangers. The Gulfstream G650ER is a truly impressive machine and holds the record for farthest and fastest flight in business aviation in history. In case you were wondering, the ER stands for Extended Range. And the jet can travel a max distance of 13,890 kilometers in a single flight. Bezos can easily make trans-Pacific and transatlantic flights whenever he wants. The interior of a Gulfstream G650ER is just as fancy as a five-star hotel room. It's no wonder the jet is the go-to choice for some of the richest people in the world. Elon Musk also owns a Gulfstream G650ER, and Bill Gates, Larry Ellison, and David Geffen each own a standard Gulfstream G650. The Gulfstream G650ER has an incredibly spacious interior, and the jet can have up to four living areas. There's also a number of interior configurations available to the uber-wealthy. Cabin designers can transform the interior of a G650ER to maximize cabin space. Bezos never feels cramped when he's in the air. We're not sure which floor plan Bezos opted for on his jets, but we wouldn't be surprised if Gulfstream designed something just for him. Each of Bezos' Gulfstreams has 16 oval windows, which bring in a lot of natural light, so he'll have no problem reviewing Amazon's recent performance metrics as he flies around the globe. The Gulfstream G650ER's seats are handcrafted and made from the fine Minus leather. Every seat reclines into a bed, and Bezos' Gulfstream jets can each seat up to 19 passengers and two crew members. That's more than enough space for Bezos and the entire Amazon board of directors. You'll also find high-end wood tables inside Bezos' jets. These tables fold out from side panels in the cabin, which means Bezos and Amazon Web Services CEO Andy Jassy can hold meetings at a cruising altitude of 15,500 meters. Bezos' Gulfstream jets are essentially flying conference rooms complete with high-speed internet and video conferencing. Bezos can even check out the latest show on Amazon Prime Video while flying in the air. Every G650ER is equipped with a hidden TV that pops out of a console in the middle of the cabin. Across from the TV console, you'll find a luxurious divan couch that comes with seat belts and is fully certified for takeoff and landing. Bezos won't have to move to another seat if he's catching up on the latest episode of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel or The Boys. The TV console has storage compartments underneath, including one where chilled drinks and rare wines can be stored. The G650ER can also be configured to have a bedroom at the back of the cabin, complete with a second divan couch couch that transforms into an extremely comfortable double bed. Those long trans-Pacific and transatlantic flights can be extremely tiring. Even a CEO as diligent as Bezos can't be expected to work through the entire flight. The bedroom is blocked off from the cabin via an electronic sliding door for added privacy, and it even includes its own high-definition widescreen TV. Each of Bezos' golf streams is equipped with a full galley where flight attendants can prepare drinks and food. Each G650ER has two beverage machines for tea, coffee, or espresso, as well as a microwave and convection oven for cooking meals. Each jet also has a full fridge and freezer where Bezos can store his breakfast octopus. 
Yum. Yes, Bezos enjoys eating octopus for breakfast rather than the standard bacon and eggs. We suspect the fridges in Bezos' jets are also filled with healthy fruits and vegetables. What else would you expect from the guy who bought Whole Foods? The G650ER also has two bathrooms, one at the front behind the cockpit and one at the back. The G650ER is one of Gulfstream's finest jets. It's sleek, pristine, and innovative. Fly-by-wire technology means Bezos can fly in absolute comfort. The G650ER is also extremely safe. It features a plain view 2 flight deck that increases safety and reduces pilot workload. Every G650ER is equipped with an enhanced flight vision system which allows authorized pilots to land without natural vision in low visibility conditions. Even the engines are luxurious. The G650ER uses two turbofan BR725 a112 engines made by Rolls-Royce. Bezos can literally breathe easy when flying because the G650ER has 100% fresh air circulated throughout the cabin at all times. To say Bezos flies in rarefied air would be an understatement. So where does Bezos jet off in his Gulf streams? He obviously uses his planes to travel to business meetings around the world, but he also uses his jets to fly to upscale vacation destinations. Bezos regularly travels between Amazon's main headquarters in Seattle and the company's European headquarters in Luxembourg City. He also has traveled to India to visit Amazon's largest campus in Hyderabad. Bezos' jet setting even revealed the location of Amazon's soon-to-be-completed HQ2. He was traveling to Arlington Country, Virginia, so often via Gulfstream that clever journalists managed to figure out Amazon's closely guarded secret. This past Valentine's Day, Bezos flew to an ultra-luxurious resort in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico with his girlfriend Lauren Sanchez. Bezos can travel anywhere in the world in his Gulfstream jets, and he's going to have a lot more vacation time in the future when he steps down as Amazon. Amazon CEO later this year. Bezos has been incredibly rich for a very long time, but he only became a centi billionaire recently. Before he bought his first Gulfstream jet, he was traveling the globe in a somewhat modest Falcon 900EX. He sold the French-built aircraft in 2015 and moved on to bigger and better things. The Falcon 900EX is nowhere near as fancy as a Gulfstream G650ER, but it's still quite impressive in its own right. The 900EX has a price tag of about $18 million, and maintenance costs are about $2,000 per hour. Bezos spends a lot of money on private jets, but Amazon spends a lot more on its fleet of delivery planes. The company recently bought 11 new Boeing 767s to speed up delivery around the world. Each plane is worth about $200 million, but the company likely got a bit of a discount for purchasing in bulk. Did you know that Jeff Bezos actually has a surprisingly low carbon footprint? Despite traveling around the globe in his private jets, his carbon footprint is lower than that of Bill Gates, Carlos Slim, and David Geffen. Bezos emits about 2,053 tons of carbon dioxide per year, which is only slightly more than Elon Musk. Bezos recently invested $10 billion to create the Bezos Earth Fund and fight climate change. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to this channel for more great videos.